I could go on adding background elements in the scene to enrich it, but I will only put some sand in the sea ground, a special style again, and at last a background color. Then I move to the browser room, where I see each element of the current scene in the current scene panel, and where I can choose to export the whole scene in three different file formats. This time I choose the flash animation one, and a high quality line to follow every little thickness variation. Well, this is the final result. With the tab tools, I can get a completely different animation style. For instance, this image has been created by a colleague of mine. He used some special styles that I don't like very much. So, I choose the cold style and I change its parameters and color to turn these chains into a golden necklace. Look at the woman's frizzy hair. It is the same style of the blue bubbles in the previous scene. There are also some special fill styles. For example, I'm loading a little animation I've scanned before and vectorized with tab as it can do it and I give it a light effect. This is a flat yellow and this is the body shadow style. It is not a simple linear gradient because it follows the shape of the line and every change I make. There are many other special fields like this, these, this one, and this. And I could go on for a long time because it's a real fun. Also textures can be used in a new amazing way. I can draw a snake with only one line and as I make some adjustments you see that the texture moves according with my stroke. So you can get an animation like this. If I apply a bricks texture to the snake, they won't look like bricks anymore, but like a brown snake skin. I've used some texture stroke also to draw this puppet. I have animated it with a kind of cutout animation process, where every part is linked to the main one, but each secondary level has its own rotation. This is the easiest way to organize a complex hierarchy of movements like this and like this other one. Here you see images with a higher quality because I added to the flat colored level a shadow level and a light one too. It is vector based image as well, very easy to modify and animate. I need to use this pic for a TV spot. So, I will export it as a sequence of TGA images in a high resolution. Even masks can be used in a new way. In this scene, I've cloned the porthole level to turn it into a mask. But I paint it with a special fill. Making transparent part of the special fill, I get a very special mask. If I combine two or more tab functions, I get amazing animation, like this text. I want it to move like a wave. So, with a few magnet touches and the automatic in betweening, here is my waving text. Many other things can be done with the tab. I can do rotoscoping, for it's possible to load a sequence of images, to trace some of them and to create some other with the automatic in betweening. I can do the easiest and very precise manual lip sync. As once I've loaded a soundtrack, I can scrub it, check the sound of even a single frame, and drop from the level strip the right drawing in the right place. One day my prince will come. I can do storyboarding. After I have drawn each rough of my scenes, I load one or more soundtracks and I assign duration to each shot. Camera movements can be very easily done. And finally, from a storyboard we pass to a movie or an animation like this, which is still a work in progress. I don't know what you're thinking about it, but in my opinion it's very hard to find something similar for web animation. The variable thickness, the special styles and all the other effects 
help you to let your work become a high quality one. That's what we call the tab quality. So enjoy yourself with the trial version of the tab. Come on, this is your turn.